A 200 watt siren is twice as loud as 100 watts, right? Well, the facts may surprise you. Welcome to Phoenix Focus. I'm your host, Katia, product manager at Phoenix Industries. Our customers ask us many questions, and one that keeps coming up over and over is if a 200 watt siren is twice as loud as 100 watts, and if an upgrade is really necessary. Well, in order to understand that question better, we need to know the basics. You know, what are watts? What are decibels? All that stuff you probably forgot from your high school science class. You see these symbols more than you realize when you're looking to buy a speaker, in stores, or online. But what do they really mean? Let's try to get a better understanding of watts first. Watts measure power. In order to accurately measure them, you need to know two basic units of electricity, the input voltage and the current consumption. In the electrical system of a 100 watt siren, power is equal to the voltage from your car, which is 12 volts, multiplied by the current consumed by the siren and the speaker, which in this case is 8.3 amps, and voila, 100 watts. To get 200 watts, you simply connect another 100 watt speaker to your siren amplifier that consumes 8.3 amps and add the total current of both speakers together. Boom, 200 watts, so simple, right? Well, decibels are not quite as simple. Their measurement is derived from a logarithmic scale that measures relative intensity. The louder an object is, the more sound pressure it measures. Since sound moves at a fixed speed of 761 miles per hour, cranking up the volume is not gonna increase the speed. Instead, it compresses the air pressure, giving us the perception of a louder sound. That pressure is measured in decibels. A 100 watt siren produces an output sound of 124 decibels. However, a 200 watt siren does not double that to 248 decibels. Here's why. Decibels, as mentioned earlier, are measured on a logarithmic scale. In layman's terms, the higher up you go on the decibel chart, the greater amount of energy is needed. We all now know that 100 watts equals 124 decibels, but doubling that power to 200 watts only increases your sound by six decibels, totaling 130 decibels of sound. As we continue up the logarithmic scale to reach 248 decibels, you would need a staggering 150 million watts. To put it another way, you would need the strength of one million cars to get anywhere close to harnessing that kind of power. Besides, anything above 195 decibels is no longer a sound wave, it's actually a shock wave. So, if someone managed to create a 248 decibel siren, they would have created a brutally destructive weapon that would shoot any vehicle in front of it 50 feet in the air. And don't forget Newton's Law of Motion, kids. Anything that intense is gonna equally propel you in the opposite direction. So, the real question is, what do the extra six decibels of a 200 watt siren really buy you? The benefit is truly in the range, not the short distance. Trying to compare the sound level of 124 decibels to 130 at close range is nearly impossible. It would be like putting your hands over two hot stoves, one at 300 degrees, the other at 400 degrees. Both hands are gonna feel an equal amount of pain. It's not until we compare the distance 124 decibels travels versus 130 that we can then understand the benefit. The ambient noise in a city or highway is around 70 decibels. The average vehicle can block out around 20 decibels of sound, bringing the ambient noise inside the car to a very quiet 50 decibels. In order for you to gain a driver's attention, you would need to expose their car to at least 80 decibels in order to penetrate their vehicle to 10 decibels of siren tone. Here's where it gets tricky. Based on the inverse square law, you will lose six decibels every time you double the distance. Meaning that a 100 watt siren producing 124 decibels at five feet will fade into the ambient city or highway noise at 2,500 feet. Taking into account our minimum requirement of 80 decibels, the 100 watt siren will be effective up to 700 feet. Now, that six decibels you gained if you had a 200 watt siren? Well, that would buy you double the distance giving you 1,400 feet of coverage. One additional benefit of a 200 watt siren is the ability to run dual tone. Doing so will create the illusion that there are multiple emergency vehicles coming up right behind you. This in turn creates a stronger sense of urgency, gaining a driver's attention quicker and clearing the way. Again, it all comes down to budget and what you think is important when your emergency vehicles are on the road. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Phoenix Focus. 
Make sure to subscribe to us, leave any questions or comments below, or if you have an idea for a show, let us know. We'll see you next time.